Over the last few days, something unexpected happened at a packed concert in Chengdu. Thousands of people watched the stage, thinking they would see only music and dancers. Instead, something else walked into the spotlight. This was not a tech show or a lab test. It was a real concert, and what happened there spread across the world within hours. At the center of the performance were six Unitree G1 humanoid robots. The robots appeared on stage during a concert by Chinese-American singer Wang Lihom, a performer with a career spanning more than two decades in Asia and North America. The robots were positioned among human backup dancers and executed synchronized choreography in real time. Video footage from the event shows the robots matching tempo, spacing, and movement sequences without visible interruption. Now let's watch another video where the robots are performing Kung Fu live at Window of the World in Shenzhen. The robots completed coordinated dance routines designed for a live audience. The machines remained upright while changing direction, shifting weight, and maintaining rhythm. At several points during the performance, the robots executed flips, a movement requiring dynamic balance and precise motor control. The choreography was performed under concert lighting conditions and in front of a live crowd. The setting distinguished this appearance from earlier humanoid robot showcases. The performance was not part of a robotics demonstration or a promotional technology launch. It took place during a commercial concert with ticket sales, stage production, and live musical accompaniment. Audience reaction was immediate, with spectators recording the segment and posting footage online during the event. The robots involved were Unitree G, One Humanoid Models, a platform developed for research and commercial testing. The G1 model stands approximately 1.3 meters tall and is designed with articulated joints for full body movement. The report noted that the robots performed flips and dance motions, typically demonstrated in controlled environments rather than live entertainment settings. The article described the concert appearance as a public demonstration of the robot's balance and coordination capabilities. The performance reached a wider audience after Elon Musk shared video clips from the concert on X. Musk described the robot's movements as impressive, a comment that was reported by international outlets including Inkel. Following the post, video clips circulated across TikTok, Instagram Reels, and X. Several clips accumulated millions of views within a short period. The spread was driven by reposts from entertainment accounts, technology commentators, and general users. Media coverage focused on the visibility of the event rather than speculation. Hypefresh reported that the robots were not positioned as props but performed as part of the choreography. The outlet emphasized that the robots kept time with human dancers and maintained formation throughout the routine. The report described the performance as one of the most prominent examples of humanoid robots participating in live entertainment. The developer behind the robots, Unitree Robotics, is a Chinese robotics company known for quadruped and humanoid platforms. The company has previously released videos of robots running, jumping, and performing acrobatic movements. However, those demonstrations were typically staged in controlled indoor spaces or outdoor test areas. The Chengdu concert marked a transition into a live commercial environment, with unpredictable variables such as lighting changes, sound vibrations, and audience proximity. The appearance occurred as China continues to expand public-facing uses of robotics. Unitree Robotics has released specifications indicating that the G1 platform is designed for research, education, and commercial experimentation. The concert performance aligned with broader efforts to showcase robotic systems outside laboratory settings. 
international reaction to the footage focused on the implications of robots entering entertainment industries. Coverage noted the speed at which the clip spread following Musk's post. Inkle reported that Musk's comment amplified visibility rather than introducing new information. The article quoted Musk's single-word response, impressive, without additional commentary. The robot's performance did not involve dialogue or interaction with the audience. Their role was limited to movement-based choreography synchronized with music and human dancers. Video evidence shows that the robots completed the routine without assistance during the visible segments. No technical interruptions were reported in the available coverage. The concert footage circulated alongside discussions about robotics development timelines. Reports did not claim replacement of performers or automation of entertainment roles. Coverage remained focused on the demonstration itself and the environment in which it occurred. Hypefresh described the moment as a milestone because it placed humanoid robots in a mainstream cultural setting rather than a specialized showcase. The Chengdu concert took place during a period of heightened interest in humanoid robotics globally. Companies in China, the United States, and Europe have released prototypes capable of walking, lifting objects, and performing limited tasks. What distinguished this event was not a new technical specification, but the scale of public exposure. Thousands witnessed the performance live while millions viewed it online within days. The robot's movements were pre-programmed and executed autonomously during the routine. The article did not indicate remote control during the performance. The report highlighted that executing flips on a concert stage requires stable hardware and accurate motion planning. China's Limex Dynamics has just officially launched the T-RON 2 Humanoid Robot, a platform designed to advance embodied robotics research and real-world robot tasks. Let's watch what this robot can do first. This new robot is now open for pre-orders with pricing starting at approximately RMB 49,800 or 7,000 US dollars. T-RON 2 builds on a modular design that allows rapid configuration for different modes of operation. In China's competitive robotics sector, this launch represents a major development in general-purpose robot platforms. T-RON 2 combines multiple mobility modes with manipulation capabilities and is presented not just as a machine but as a full vision language action development platform for AI and robotics research. This is the world's latest modular humanoid robot meant to be reconfigured for diverse tasks. T-RON 2's design includes a universal base and three configurations – dual arm manipulator, bipedal walker and wheeled leg mobile mode. In dual arm mode, it operates as a manipulation platform with arms that have 7 degrees of freedom per arm and a reach of approximately 70 centimeters, enabling precise task handling across its workspace. In bipedal configuration, T-RON 2 can perform dynamic locomotion capable of climbing stairs and adjusting to uneven terrain. Its wheeled leg hybrid mode supports 30 kilogram payloads and offers all-terrain mobility with adaptive control systems. These configurations allow it to switch between manipulation-focused roles and mobility-intensive tasks, expanding the scope of its applications in both indoor and outdoor settings. The robot's manipulation hardware includes a spherical wrist design on each arm that increases operational flexibility and reach. The 10kg dual-arm payload enables desktop tasks and object handling in research environments. T-RON 2 also employs active safety boundaries on its motion system to prevent collisions and automatically reposition its arms safely in the event of power loss. T-RON 2 is delivered as an all-in-one vision language action platform that integrates hardware and software for data collection, annotation, training, inference, and task management. 
The platform includes preloaded algorithm tasks, allowing developers to start experimentation without custom algorithm tuning. VLA support also includes mainstream models and datasets that cover a variety of physical tasks, including object manipulation and environmental perception. The platform provides a full Python development workflow, supports ROS1 and ROS2 frameworks, and is compatible with major simulators such as NVIDIA, Isaac Sim, Mujoco, and Gazebo. This ecosystem of tools enhances the robot's utility for both research and practical robotics integration. Pricing for T-RON2 begins at about $6,800 to $7,000 US dollars for base configurations, which positions it significantly lower than many research robots with similar capabilities. This accessibility could encourage wider adoption among labs, universities, and startups focused on embodied intelligence and applied robotics. The modular nature of T-RON2 is intended to lower barriers to entry for robotics research. Users can configure the robot for different mission types without needing separate hardware platforms. The design is also scalable for adding sensors, effectors, or software modules based on research needs or task requirements. In technical specifications, T-RON2 7 degree of freedom arms and 70 cm reach per arm represent some of the largest workspaces in its class among comparable modular robots. Full field perception is enabled by a front camera system that covers the entire arm span, giving it comprehensive sight for tasks requiring visual guidance. Multiple safety and mobility systems are integrated to support real-world operation. Adaptive control systems adjust the robot's locomotion for variable terrains, and redundant power systems can fold the arms to safe positions when power disturbances occur. These features are essential for deploying the robot in experimental or industrial environments. China's launch of T-RON2 follows other robots from the same company, such as T-RON1, which introduced modular foot-end configurations and motion control for research, and full-size humanoids like the Oli series that demonstrate whole-body mobility and manipulation. Limex Dynamics corporate headquarters are located in Shenzhen, China, and the company has emphasized its focus on general-purpose robotics and embodied AI development. T-RON2's development also reflects broader trends in robotics, where modular physical design is paired with software platforms capable of autonomous or semi-autonomous operation. The integration of perception, mobility, and manipulation in a single platform positions T-RON2 as a flexible solution for robotics tasks from research to potential industrial workflows. According to company communications, T-RON2 was introduced ahead of its official launch on December 18, 2025, marking a new phase in how humanoid robots can be configured and deployed in research settings. The formal announcements and early demonstrations emphasize the platform's readiness for experimentation and AI agent integration. T-RON2's hardware and software integration underscores a shift toward general-purpose robot platforms that can handle a wider range of activities without requiring distinct robots for each function. This modular reconfigurability could influence how labs plan robot deployments and develop AI models tied to physical embodiments. The launch of T-RON2 adds to the expanding portfolio of robots developed by Limex Dynamics, reinforcing China's presence in the global humanoid robotics market. Its multi-form design and accessible price point may facilitate broader experimentation with embodied AI and bring more institutions into advanced robotics research.